Hi, welcome to another BandLab video. Uh, this one's looking at um, playing a drum beat within the BandLabs program. Um, this is an assignment that I set for my students, so um, hopefully this will help them and maybe others to actually perform and play a drum beat into this program. Um, so there's, this is suited for um, any beginners, um, so let's get into it. So over here, I'm at the assignment start page. Okay, um, this task is about learning how to play uh, various different drum rhythms. Um, and I've got some instructions here that I've sent out to the students. So with the left hand, we've got the um, S for kick drum, F for snare drum. The right hand will be using the O key. Okay, so I've attached um, some documents Okay, and I've got the drum beats there, which I'll show you some of that sheet there. And I've got for some advanced students and second page there. Okay, let's get into this task and I'll show you how to set it up. So here we select teacher assignment. And by default, we get this um, log on screen. So here we're going to be selecting MIDI instruments. By default, again, you'll have the piano keyboard. So we're going to change this to the drum kit, okay? And so you can actually change what type of drum kit you want to use. Um, I happen to like the classical rock one, okay? Now over this side of the screen, you've got the information that we just looked at uh, with all the instructions. Over here, you've got those attachments so you can download them once you're in here as well, um, if you'd forgotten to download those attachments. So let's move them out of the way and I'll bring up what this drum rhythm looks like. So there we go. Hopefully you can see this drum rhythm. So again, we've got the snare drum, which is the F key. So let's go play that key. So we've got the F key. We've got the kick drum, which is the S key. We've got the hi-hat, which is the O key. Okay, so they're the three components of this rock beat that we're going to be doing. Now over on this diagram, I've got a little bit more labelling to help us out. So the notes right across the top that have the X's for the note heads, they're the hi-hats. I'll jump down to the one at the bottom, in the bottom space, there's our kick drums. And our snare drum is the last two crotchets that are happening there. Now, for students that um, are doing this for the first time, you have never played a drum beat before, I had some instructions from a, a drum teacher, a friend of mine, and he spoke about this great idea of movement one, movement two. So that's why I've got these numbers over the top of some of these sounds. So one is over the top of the hi-hat and kick drum, two is over the top of the hi-hat and snare drum, and then it repeats. So I'm going to leave out these extra hi-hat sounds for the first bit here. So coming back over here, let's see what the um, hi-hat and kick drum, so the O and the S key at the same time. So I've got them together. Let's do that again. And so you can just practice. I've just got my left hand and right hand playing those. Then movement two, we had the hi-hat and snare drum. So that was the O and the F key. And I play them together. Okay. Next we go between those two, so movement one to movement two. So we go the hi-hat and uh, kick drum, then the hi-hat and snare drum, and then keep looping those. When you get the hang of that, you're noticing I'm doing this at a slow tempo, um, you can add in the extra hi-hat tap this time. So let's do movement one, extra tap on the hi-hat, movement two, Extra tap on the hi-hat, move at one. And as you get comfortable, you can start speeding it up. Okay, so I've pretty much got that one down. The next part of this is to record these tracks. So what I found useful to do is to come up here to the metronome Take it down to maybe a hundred. Oops. Let's take that back up to about a hundred. We can have a listen to that speed. 
Okay, I'm happy with that speed. Now, when recording a drum beat, it's really helpful to have the metronome on while you're doing this. So not only will I have a count in, but I'll have it happening while I'm, while I'm actually doing the recording. And then later on, I can disable the metronome. Um, so we've got that set up. So let's set that going. Now if any point you don't like what you did, you can then go hit, select it, hit the delete button and then record it again. So let's do that again. I wasn't happy with how I started that. Okay, so there I've got that rhythm down there. Let's play it back. Okay, so you can keep practicing that, record it, um, and then leave your final one that you like there. Now what I'm doing with this assignment is I'm getting the students to record 10 of these rhythms. So the next part of is we can then mute that track, add a new track, change it to drum kit, and now on this track I can record my second rhythm. So if I go back over to that rhythm, the difference for this second rhythm is on movement two, I've got an extra kick. So if I just practice that one where I've got hi-hat, snare and kick all at the same time, I'd end up with all three of those sounds at the same time. So movement one this time would be, and movement two, back to movement one, back to movement two. If I add in the hi-hats, Okay, and then I could then look at recording that once I've got that ready. So I've got that muted, I've got this track selected. And I don't have my metronome going. Let's set that going. Okay, and then I've got that one down. Let's have a quick listen. Okay, so as you can see, it's not an overly hard task, but it does take a bit of practice if you've never played some of these drum beats before. So you can practice as much as you need to practice and then record them, delete them, re-record them until you get that rhythm to sound the way you wanted. Okay, um, by the time you finish this um, with my students have got access to 10 rhythms. Um, your teacher might provide other rhythms that you might be able to do and you can create um, a file of all these drum rhythms that you've been playing. So hopefully that's been helpful. Have a bit of fun learning to play the basic rock beats and maybe some other drum beats if you find some other drum sheet music around the place. Feel free to message me if you have any trouble with this and I'm happy to help. If you have any other suggestions of other rhythms or other um, features of band labs you'd like me to explore and create a video for, definitely um, send me a message in the comments below. Also, think about subscribing. Um, I've been making videos every few weeks um, here for band labs, so definitely send me some su suggestions and I'm happy to help you out with any of these things. So thanks again.